Way number 35 on how to pass the Geometry Common Core Regents. The one co-function identity that you need to know that is always true is the sine of A is equal to the cosine of B. Especially in right triangles where angles A and B are complementary, meaning they add up to 90 degrees. Another way to put it would be the sine of an angle is equal to the cosine of 90 minus that angle. So see if you could answer this short answer question from the June 2016 Geometry Common Core Regents. If you said that R is equal to 17 degrees and provided the correct explanation, you'd earn yourself an easy two points. And even if they try to trick you with funky looking numbers or switching the letters around on you, the cosine of A will still be equal to the sine of B. And just in case you want to have a better understanding of this from the SOHCAHTOA standpoint, the sine of an angle is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus that angle, making choice 3 the answer on the left, and both students' equations are correct along with a correct explanation. And the fact that both of these questions came from the same Geometry Common Core Regents exam is a good sign that you'll be able to pass yours. Now you might be wondering if this will work on the exam that you'll be taking, and the answer is a resounding yes. In fact, pause this video and see if you could answer the following question from the June 2017 Geometry Common Core Regents. But before I give you the answer, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel, or put your answer down in the comment section below this video. If you pick choice 3, you are now two points closer to passing your Geometry Common Core Regents, so head on over to GeometryVideoTutor.com for more videos just like this one.